I'm back, Paul. Come on, let's go. Yes, Auntie, let's go. Be strong, my son. Everything would be fine for you. Okay, Dad. I'll come see you at the hospital later when I get off work. Okay, Dad. Okay, I'm going to leave you. Good day to you. And we will keep up to date during the day for the future. Okay, that's perfect. Be strong, Paul. Everything will be fine for you. I firmly believe that you will feel better tonight. Okay, thank you. Well, the doctor is already taking care of my nephew. What should I prepare now for his parents? I have an idea. I would mystically add salt to every meal my sister makes for her husband from now on. We will see if her husband will be able to continue to eat his meals and to love him as usual. Thank you so much for coming to my concert. It is now that the real things will start. Well, the time has come for me to add all this crowd. You will never leave this room like you came here. Get ready, dear audiences, because the concert will be so hard. Obviously, because you have come to worship the ancient snake. Well, now that the evil spirits are in action, they are destroying everything that is good in their lives, and they are making a mess in the lives of everyone who has come here. Let them leave this room with incurable diseases. Let the party begin. Yes. Let the party begin. After your blood tests and everything you just told me, I am so surprised to see that you now have epilepsy. What? Me? An epileptic? But how do you do that, doctor? I had never had this disease before. I really feel sorry for you. No, doctor. I can't live with this disease. I really prefer to commit suicide. No young man certainly do not do that. We have medication that will calm her attacks when they come on you. Can you imagine, doctor? How could I live with this disease? Since I was born, I have never had this disease before. This disease cannot appear like that overnight in my body, it's really not possible. That is also what seems so strange to me. But in any case, do not worry, the medications I will give you will really help you calm these crises. Frankly, I refuse this disease. I especially don't want to be epileptic for the rest of my life. I'm coming to you young man. I'll go talk to the person who brought you back here. Alright, doctor. As I said, this is a bit like what happened to your nephew. Okay, thank you very much for this information. I will pass the message on to his parents and his parents will come and get him. Okay, it works. Bye, doctor. Don't worry, everything will be better for you by then. Alright, doctor. But how is it that our son now has epilepsy? Frankly, I am in shock. A very bright boy who worked very well in class can have such a disease overnight. I think there's an eel in her rock. Indeed, because I really can't believe it. But no one has this disease in our family. How can he develop such a thing? Obviously, my wife. This is what I have not been able to understand since this morning. Anyway, we are going to see him in the hospital later. Yes, my wife. Thank you for coming out to support your artist. Now the concert is over, you can go home. I am very happy because things went well as I wanted. Now people can go home. We were able to succeed in our bet. Look, there is no one here. Now is the time or never to put enough salt in this sauce to be able to create an argument in this house. I really wanted to congratulate you on your concert that you did recently. Thanks to you, we were finally able to accomplish our mission well. The public was able to properly adore the ancient snake and we are really happy about it. Thank you so much for existing brothers because thanks to you, we were able to get a lot of information about the audience during this concert. Out of nothing. Putting on all the fun is mine. I will always be at your disposal as long as you can arrange for me. Okay, my artist. You know, me and my chef decided to reward you. You'll have a big wire transfer from us by next week. Beautiful, super awesome. Thanks for telling me that. Very good news. Nothing, my artist, because you fully deserve it. Good mission accomplished. I can't wait to see how her husband will be able to eat this salty sauce. 
Hello the disputes and the damage. Well, I need to get out of here immediately before he comes home. As I have just explained to you, this is a bit like what happened to your child. Frankly, I am disgusted. I really can't take more of this situation. Don't worry sir, your child will be fine. Just buy him the medication that I prescribed earlier at the pharmacy and you will see for yourself that he will feel much better the next few days. Alright doctor. Thank you so much for reassuring me. Nothing sir good luck to you for the future. Let's go kid, are you sure it's going to be okay? Yes dad. I already feel a bit better now. Dad, I'll be able to go back to class soon. Okay, it works my son. You know, darling, I am very hungry. Give me the meals you cooked for me. Okay, sweetie. I had just received my bank transfer. Frankly, I am so happy. I did dirty things. And today, I am well paid. I think I'm going to start by working on my second album, because I need a lot of money to be able to build my house. Wow! But it's really inedible this meal. It was you who put a lot of salt in this meal like that. What is the matter my man? Is there a problem with the meal I cooked for you? Yes, my wife. Because the meal is full of salt. Let me have a taste to see. You haven't seen anything yet, dear sister. You shouldn't have gotten married before me. Indeed, you are right darling. Because the meal is too salty. It's all very strange because when I tasted it, it wasn't like that at all. Are you sure what you're saying anyway? But of course, my man. I'm not that crazy to be able to put that much salt in a sauce anyway. Frankly, I'm starting to get tired of everything that's happening to us. I can't get enough of this situation anymore. I can't even eat properly in my house anymore. I really have the impression that your sister has brought us bad luck since she came to this house. Our daily life has completely turned upside down. Please never involve my sister in anything here. She had nothing to do with it. I don't think it was she who made our office sick. Please get my sister out of this story. I don't want her involved in anything anymore. Alright, okay, it works. Good night to you then. And know that if you continue like this, I won't be able to eat any of your meals anymore. Bye. Yes, I'm coming. What is happening, my twin sister? Why are you sad like that? I am sad because nothing is going well in my life anymore. I don't get along well with my husband anymore and on top of that, my son is sick. Don't worry my sister, everything will work out for you by then. There are times like this that sometimes happen in our lives. It's up to you to stay strong and not let go. Thank you so much my sister. It's a good thing you're here to console me. I also wanted to apologize to you because since my arrival from vacation, I hadn't even taken the time to enjoy a bit with you. As soon as everything is better between me and my husband and my son, we will have a good time together. I promise you that. Okay, sister, you don't have to apologize because I fully understand the situation you are going through right now. Be strengthened my sister. And good luck to you. Thank you so much Crystal. Here, well, that's what I wanted to hear. Sweetie, soon you won't have a husband anymore. I promise you, I will do everything to leave this house with your husband. There will be nothing left, believe me. I would just let you have your poor epileptic. And misery. We will see who will be happy more than who soon. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Part 3 of this video is coming very soon. And there are my brothers and sisters. That will be all for this video. If you enjoyed this video, do not hesitate to like it, comment on it and share it with those around you so that only one soul is saved and restored. And please don't forget to subscribe to the Sentinel channel to make sure you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. God bless you and protect you.